Hello everyone, Robin Rami 2 here. So I just started painting a grass texture when I realized I might as well record it and make a video explaining the process. Here I just made an uninspired base layer to get into the piece before deciding on how I wanted to actually do it. The method here is rather repetitive but relatively simple. I made small clumps of grass by first painting the outer grass blades and smudging their inside, painting the next inner part, smudging again and repeating the process. Randomly shaped dots spread around the canvas. An important aspect of making textures is to make sure they tile nicely. That usually means having to wrap the texture around to move the edge areas into the center so that you can properly paint them. Now, with the first layer of grass leaves all painted, I wanted to make them stand out more by adding shadows beneath and around them. The simplest method was to just clone the layer, make the copy dark and apply a tileable blur to it. To make the second layer on top of the first one, I copied the combined grass and shadow to a separate image to be able to cut and paste and rearrange individual elements onto a new layer. Here I had to utilize a different method of wrapping the image. First cut and paste the layer onto a new image, then tile it to a bigger area and copy paste an arbitrary part of it into the original frame. The base layer had noticeable patches with too little detail, so I used the clone tool to quickly paint in detail from different parts of the image. Getting ready for the finishing touches, I wanted a rougher look, with certain parts of the upper layer more connected and less uniformly spread out. My solution was to decrease the contrast in these areas by painting with a color brighter than the background on a layer between the top and bottom layer. Then I added a layer of cloud noise for increased random detail in the background.
I wanted colder, more blue tinged shadows in the texture, so I adjusted the color distribution curves before finally using the clone tool again to get rid of the spots that most jarringly make the texture's tiling nature apparent. Job done.